Good Saturday morning. Today's passage is Romans chapter 8. For all who are led by the Spirit of God are sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of slavery to fall back into fear, but you've received the spirit of adoption as sons, by whom we cry, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God, and if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and fellow heirs with Christ, provided we suffer with him, in order that we may also be glorified with him. The Spirit testifies with our spirit. It means he gives evidence as a witness. He confirms, he proves, he corroborates our spiritual standing with Father God. He gives testimony to us as believers. The witness of the Spirit gives us assurance we are God's children. He does this both through the objective reality of the Word of God and through that still small voice that we hear within. When when He speaks to us through His Word, we have the assurance that His will is knowable. All we have to do is simply open His Word where all we need to know is contained in the pages of Scripture. As we read the Bible, The Spirit confirms the truth because we have trusted in Jesus and we are now children of God. He also confirms uh, the truth that we've moved from being slaves to sin to being His children. He substantiates that fact in our new status in an intimate way in our inner being. Father. God adopted us not because we are so special. Father God adopted us because we were alone and we needed a family. I am a child of God. But let's talk about hearing his voice personally and intimately. Remember, God's never going to tell you something here that's inconsistent with his word. But he will tell you things that are intimate and personal. The truth is, you and I can do things to hinder hearing His voice. One of the biggest things we do that prevents us from hearing God personally is failing to read His Word daily, hence the Bible Engagement Project. Bible engagement is essential for the child of God, and it's essential for you feeling close to God. So let me ask, how is Bible engagement going for you? If the only time you engage in the Bible is Sunday, You are spiritually malnourished and you're going to die. Now this five minutes a day that we do here in a shared devotion, that may keep you alive spiritually. But to be useful to God, you're going to have to have some intimate, personal, meditative time, just you and Him, where you can cry, Abba, Father. Today, our church has 14 college-age Christians and five high school-age Christians arriving here this evening for a five-day missions and discipleship trip. And that reminds me to remind you, if you need help getting comfortable with Father God, spend some time with someone who already is. Ask Christian friends to help you. Remember, two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. For if one of them falls, the other one will lift up his companion. It's found in Ecclesiastes. Father God, Lead me by your Holy Spirit as I go through this day. Bring to my mind the truth of the gospel and its implications for what I'm going to encounter today. Create and reveal opportunities to proclaim the good news of Jesus. I just want to share you, Jesus. Simply share you with somebody today. Lord, as I make time throughout my day to hear your voice, Help me to be not only familiar with it, but comfortable with it. And if I do sin, make me aware of it so I can confess it and repent of it quickly. Lord, I thank you that your forgiveness is abundant. Remind me to be still and reflect on your sacrifice for me, Jesus. And Holy Spirit, open my heart and my mind to your word and help me as I encourage those you've entrusted to meet a shepherd, that they too will find the joy that I feel when I call out, 
Abba Father. Amen. God bless you. Oh, don't forget, today's the day you need to set your clock forward an hour. <laughs>